All right, hey guys, today we are going to be talking about graphing. We're gonna learn how to graph in a coordinate plane, plot points, and graph an equation. Um, please make sure you're taking notes on your video note sheet. Some things are not on the video note sheet, so you can add them on the back where there's blank space or just in the margins where there's room for notes. So please add anything that you want to. All right, so first thing that we are gonna talk about is um, numbering a coordinate grid. So first thing I just wanna point out, this right here, this is called a coordinate graph. Okay, so it's a little different than ones we have seen in the past. Um, before, we usually only had this, just a one section part. Now we're gonna have four sections. So I'm gonna show you how this is actually made. All right, so first thing is, think about when we first learned um, how to graph on a number line. So if I put zero here, when I go to the right, it gets bigger. One, two, three, four. I go to the left, I count down. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. All right, what I just did, that is actually the same as right here on a coordinate graph. So you see this green line I just traced? That's actually the exact same. So if I show you, so usually the first thing you wanna do is try to number that. So this is pretty small for me, so I'm gonna to have to write small, but right here, this would be the one. That would be the two, the three, the four, the five, okay? Now I would not make it that big, but I'm doing it on the iPad, so it's a little hard. Okay, if I went the other way, this is negative one, negative two right here, negative three, negative four, negative five. And right in the middle, that's zero. That's actually called the origin. Okay, now the up and down one, if you take a watch my mouse real quick, this way going up and down is the same thing. It's basically like a vertical number line. So if I put zero in the middle, think of it like a thermometer. If I go up, it's one, two, three, four. And if I go down, it's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So think of taking this right here and basically just moving it right here. Okay, so if I was gonna number it, this one right here would be or positive one, two, three, four. Going down would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, and what we just drew, if you put those two together, if I put my horizontal and my vertical together, that makes something called a coordinate grid or an axis. Okay, so the first thing that you kind of always wanna do, so I have an axis drawn right here, is label the X and the Y axis. The one going across or sideways is called the X axis. Okay, I'll just even kind of spell it out for you. And the one going up and down is called the Y axis. Now, you might notice that it's split into four sections, one, two, three, four. Those are actually called quadrants. Okay, I'm gonna spell that out too. So, quadrants. Oh wait, all right. Um, the quadrants, they start in the upper right-hand corner, and this is called quadrant one. Okay, it's a Roman numeral one. Then you go counterclockwise. This is actually called quadrant two. This is quadrant three, and quadrant four. Again, these are Roman numerals, so um, when you see those, that's what those mean. So those are the four quadrants, or the four sections of the graph. All right, and one other special point on this graph is where those two axes cross, where the X and the Y axis cross, you kind of see where they cross right in the middle. That is called the origin, okay? You can even label that if you want to. And that origin has a coordinate of zero, zero. Okay, so that is called the origin. All right, so a couple quick things. When we are graphing things, first thing that you kind of want to do is make sure you always label the X and the Y axis. Remember, X is sideways, Y is up and down. Next thing that you always want to do is you want to number the axes. So I'm just making this a little bigger so it's easier for me to number. So when I start numbering, okay, I'm gonna grab my pen. I'm gonna kind of come here and put, there's a one. This is two, positive three, four, five. Right in the middle, zero. And then I go the other way, negative one negative two, negative three. I can go up, one, two, three, and then down, negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, so I just kind of labeled that to start with. You always wanna do that, okay? Now, this year we are going to be putting points on in all four quadrants of the graph. Previous years, and like in science class, maybe you'll put a point here. We never were in these other four quadrants. Now we're gonna be using all four, okay? And we need to have some kind of way to name them. Well, when we name them, we're going to be giving them something called a coordinate pair, okay? Um, which is kind of a name, a coordinate pair or coordinates of a point, okay? So I might put a point on the graph, and that point's going to have a special name, which we're going to learn how to do today. Okay, before we do that, I just want to test you to see if you know which quadrant this point is in. So this point right here, can you tell me what quadrant it's in? Well, it's in quadrant one. You can either write it 
as a Roman numeral or you could write it as quadrant one. Okay, this point down here, what quadrant do you think that's in? Test yourself out. Oh, it's quadrant three. So maybe you'll write quadrant three or you can write it as a Roman numeral. All right, this point here, wh which quadrant do you think it's in? It's in quadrant two or Roman numeral quadrant two. Okay, so now we're actually going to learn how to graph some points. All right, when we start to graph points this year, um, they're always gonna be written in coordinates. Here's an example. You might see this point, three comma two. All right, coordinates or order pairs are always written with the X coordinate first and then the Y coordinate. A way to remember that is X comes first in the alphabet, Y comes next, so it's always X first and then comma Y. All right, the first number, the, the number that they give you first, so for example, three here, that number, the first number tells you to go either left or right. It always tells you one of those two directions. And that makes sense because look at the x-axis. It's going across, left or right. Okay, if it's going left, it will be a negative number. If it's going right, it'll be a positive number. Okay, the second number, the y-coordinate, tells you either to go up or down. Okay, and again, that makes sense because look at the y-axis. It's up, it's vertical, it's up and down. Okay, if it's a positive number, you would go up. If it's a negative number, you would go down. So every point is gonna be kinda of written like that. All right, now when you graph a point, let me just show you one, this is not in your note sheet, three comma two. When you go to graph a point, you always need to start at the origin. So I always am starting at the zero, zero. The first number tells me to go, it's the X, it tells me to go right three, because it's a positive three. So from the middle, I'm going to go right one, two, three. And I'm just gonna stop right there. Now the second number, it's a two. The two tells me to go up or down. It's a positive two, so I'm gonna go up two, and that's where my point is going to go. So again, I went up, right three, up two, there's my point. That's how these work. Okay, let's go ahead and try to graph this next point. So remember, it's always x comma y. Okay, so the x you know is going across, right? So it says the x is go right two. Okay, so I'm gonna to come to the origin, start at the middle, go right one, two. I'm gonna stop right there and just kinda of wait. Now the second number, it's a negative four. That tells me the up or down. It says go down four. Here's one spot, two spots, three spots, four spots, so I'll end right there. Okay, now if you kinda look, um, you can see that I went over two and then I went down negative four. That's where it crosses. Now I also wanna point out, it's always gonna be crossing on like an intersection, your points are. Okay, so I just graphed the point two comma negative four. That is the coordinate of that point. Okay, why don't you guys try to graph negative three comma five. Push pause, try it, push play when you're ready. All right, so start at the origin, start in the middle. The first number tells me to go left or right. It says negative three, so I'm gonna go over to the negative three. And then the second number tells me up or down, it's a five, so I go up one, two, three, four, five. That's where my point is. So I went negative three over and up five. Okay, and I'm just gonna label that point negative three comma five. All right, let's try zero comma negative three. Again, you can push pause. Okay, so you start in the origin, so I start right in the middle. Now it says for the X, I go left or right zero, so you don't move. So you stay right in the middle, and then the up or down, it says negative three, so I go down three. I start in the middle, go down one, two, three, so that's where I end up, and there's my point. That's kind of a special point. Okay, that's zero, negative three. We'll learn more about that tomorrow. All right, now this is not on your video note sheet, but I want you to kind of try it. So I have four points here, and I wanna know if you can figure out what are the coordinates of each of these points. Okay, can you actually name them? Now remember, it's always the X comma Y. And I'm gonna do the first one with you. I'm gonna do letter A with you. Okay, so you always start in the middle. Okay, start in the middle here. Okay, it looks like I went, to get to the A, I had to go left or right first. It looks like I went right, kind of watch one, two spots. You see, I went right two. Okay, so I would write that first, two comma. Now I have to figure out how much I went up or down. Well, I went up one, two spots as well. So I'll put a positive two because I went up two. So that coordinate is two comma two. Okay, let me just show you one more that's over here. Okay, so we'll call this one E. Okay, so point E. All right, it looks like, so I gotta start at the middle again. So it looks like I went left one, two, three, four, four spots, and that's left, so I put negative four, and then it looks like I went down one, two to get to that. If it's down, it's negative, and then two. So there's the coordinates of E. All right, why don't you push pause and try 
um, the other coordinates. See if you can write those down in any of the blank spaces where there's space. Push play when you're ready to check. All right, the answer for B is over one, two, three, so negative three comma two, because I went up two. The answer for C is negative two comma zero. And the answer for D is I went over one, two, and then down two, so two comma negative two. All right, now I'm gonna show you one more thing and I'm gonna go through this pretty quick, but we're gonna be spending a lot of time on this tomorrow in class. This year we are going to be graphing lines. Now you've done that in the past where you've graphed something and it just kind of goes that way. Okay, it's just in that one quadrant there. This time we're gonna be graphing a line that might come all over the place on our graph. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be giving you an equation this year. For example, I have this equation, y equals x plus one, and we're gonna to try to graph it. Now, before we can graph that, we don't have no idea what it's gonna look like. We need to come up with some points that are gonna be on the line. I'll tell you it's a line for sure. So to do that, we are going to make an XY table. This is called the input output table or XY table. Now, just like the alphabet, X comes first and then Y. All right, so in order to graph an equation, what you need to do is you have to pick some numbers for X. You can pick anything that you want, um, but it makes sense to pick small numbers. So what we're gonna, most of the time, we're gonna use five numbers, okay? We're gonna use negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. And I kinda went in order from smallest to biggest, straight down. Okay, now, I'm gonna take negative two, I'm saying that's the X value, and I'm gonna come plug it in this equation. So I'm gonna say, well, it says Y equals, instead of an X here, I'm gonna put a negative two plus one. Okay, well, I know negative two plus one, that's negative one, so Y is negative one. So that means when I plugged in a negative two for that X, I got a negative one for the Y. So I'm gonna put that in the table. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this again, but this time I'm going to plug in a negative one for X. So I'm gonna say, instead of this X here, I'm gonna say Y equals negative one plus one. Well, negative one plus one, that's zero. So Y equals zero in that case, so I'm gonna put a zero which is one, okay? And then let's plug in a one for X. So instead of X there, I'm gonna put a one and then it says plus one, which is two. Finally, plug in a two right here. So two plus one is three. All right, now what we basically just did is made some coordinates. So I could basically just kind of put a comma around those two pairs. So my very first coordinate is going to be negative two comma negative one. So let's see if we can graph that. So start at the origin. Okay, first number tells you left or right. It's a negative two, so go left two. Okay, and then the second number tells you go, to go up or down, it's down one. So I go left two, down one, and it's gonna end up right there. Okay, my second one is negative one comma zero. Okay, now the first number tells me left or right, so I'm gonna start at the middle. Okay, here's the middle. Go left negative one, and then up or down zero. So I'm just gonna have a point right here. Okay, my next one is zero comma one. You can see that right here, zero comma one. So start in the middle, it says left or right zero, and then up or down one. Okay, so I'll put a point right there. The next one is one comma two. So I start at the middle. Okay, the one tells me to go right one and then up two, there's my point. And then finally, two comma three. So I go over to the two, up to the three, and there's my point. Now you might notice, do you see how it's going in a straight line here? Okay, if I picked a three, can you pick, figure out where the point would be? It'd be right here. It would just kind of keep going up in that pattern. So what you can do is connect them, okay, because there's more points. Uh, there's points going on forever and ever. So I'm going to connect those, and I'm going to put arrows on the end. That shows me that this keeps going and going. I, there's millions of points. I just pick some of them that work in that equation. There's a ton. Um, <clears throat> so I just picked a few, and then I just put arrows on to show that it keeps going. All right, I apologize for this being so long. There's a lot to go over. So make sure you fill in the form um, for your teacher tomorrow and bring your video note sheet.